This is where you master over a hundred American English slang words. I'm going to give you the meaning, provide examples, and even English pronunciation secrets along the way. Ace. This means excellent or the best. That movie was ace. The vowel in this is a diphthong, A. There is a little bit of an E position with a smile and tongue up, A, ace. Bay. This is a term of endearment for a significant other or someone you love. He's my bay. I love him. This is the same vowel, A, where we're adding a bit of a tail E at the end. Baller. This means someone who's very successful and has done well financially. He's such a baller with all those fancy cars. Basic. This generally means unoriginal or just conforming to popularity. My taste in music is very basic. <laughs> I only listen to what's popular on the radio. The I in this word is pronounced as a lower eh, 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 rather than e. If you find yourself saying e, pull your tongue lower and relax. Yeah, eh, eh, eh. Basic. Beef. This means a dispute or a conflict between people. I don't know what their beef is, but they've been fighting for years. Bet. This means an agreement or confirmation. It's short for you bet. Do I want to grab dinner? Bet. Bomb. This means awesome or excellent. I always get my pizza there. It's bomb. Chef's kiss. This word has a silent B at the end. We are not pronouncing that B. Bomb. Bougie. This means to act pretentious or snobbish in some way. She's always wearing expensive designer bags. So bougie. The G-I-E is pronounced as G. So this is like an S-H with your voice on. G, bougie. Bounce. This means to leave or to exit. Yeah, I'm kind of tired, let's bounce. The vowels here are a diphthong. Ow, ow. So say both. Bounce. Bro. This is just short for saying that someone is a casual male friend and it's short for brother. What's up, bro? Buck. This refers to money. If you go there, they'll charge you 20 bucks. The vowel here is neutral. Jaw is mostly closed, lips are in neutral position. Uh, 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 buck. Bummer. This means something that's unfortunate or disappointing. Oh, they lost, what a bummer. The same vowel in this case, closed jaw, Neutral lips, uh, uh, uh. Insane. This means extreme or extraordinary, and it's often positive. Can be negative as well. That roller coaster was insane. I'm not doing that again. The stress is on the second syllable. Insane. Cool. This just means great or excellent. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go there. The L at the end of this word is difficult for some people, so feel that your tongue tip is touching the roof of your mouth. Cool. Cheesy. Another word for corny or slightly embarrassing, like me using some of these words. <laughs> the dialogue in that movie was really cheesy. I think it's based on a play or something. The S in this word is pronounced with a voiced Z, Z sound. Chill. This means to relax or take it easy. Eh. Let's just stay in, let's just chill tonight. The I vowel in this word is a lower tongue position. If you find yourself pronouncing an E, E, E sound, pull your tongue down and relax it. Eh, eh, eh. Chillin'. This just means to relax or hang out. Ah, we'll just be chillin' on the beach tomorrow. This is the same lower I vowel, eh, eh, eh. Clap back. This means to respond with something that's witty or like a sharp comeback. She did not hesitate to clap back with a clever response. The A's in these words are ah, ah, ah. This involves an open jaw and open smiley lip position. Ah. Clout. This refers to influence and social status. After that viral video, he gained a lot of clout. This is a diphthong vowel. Ow, ow, clout. And it's quick. So transition to rounded lips. Clout. Clutch. This means that someone or something has come through at the right moment. It was last minute, he scored the winning goal. So clutch. Cray. This means something that's wild or unbelievable. It's short for crazy. That was a cray insane response. This is a diphthong vowel. A. 
ending with that E sound. A. Deadass. This is to emphasize the sincerity or seriousness of a statement. I deadass can't believe what just happened. Dime. This means a very attractive person. They all think she's a dime. And another way to say it would be dime piece. Again, just meaning an extremely attractive person. Dope. This can mean excellent, awesome, or refers to something that is of high quality or impressive. That's a dope car. Driven. This means to look exceptionally fashionable and stylish. He's always dripping in designer clothes. Dude. Just another word meaning friend, or you could use it in replacement of bro. Dude, did you just eat my burrito? The D at the end of this is voiced, so be careful to make sure there's vibration. Dude. Rather than a T. Epic. This describes something that is grand, extraordinary, and impressive. The concert was absolutely epic. The I in this word is pronounced as a lower pronunciation. Eh, eh, eh. If you find yourself saying e, 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 pull your tongue down. Extra. This refers to extra or over the top. She's a bit extra sometimes, but she's lots of fun. The A at the end of this word is a schwa. It's a, uh, a, uh, a, uh, rather than a. Uh. Face palm. This is referring to the gesture of putting your palm on your face. It's to express disbelief. After I told that joke, I could not help but face palm. Faded. This can refer to feeling tired or exhausted, or it could be under the influence of alcohol or drugs. She said she's okay, she just said she's feeling a bit faded. The final D in this word is voiced. D -d -d -d, so feel a vibration there on your throat. Flex. This means to show off or boast, and it's often to show off possessions. If you've seen all the cars, you'd know he likes to flex. The k -s pronunciation, we do not drop the K sound. Flex. Flop. This means a disaster or a failure. That joke was a total flop. I should probably stop saying them. The O in this word is an open pronunciation, so your lips are in more of an open position. Ah, ah, ah. FOMO. This stands for the fear of missing out. It's that feeling of insecurity when you're worried that other people are having fun and you're missing out. I had to come, I couldn't miss the party. I had major FOMO. Both of these O's are pronounced with a rounded lip. FOMO. Ghost. This means a sudden or complete cutoff of communication. When someone just disappears, he ghosted her after the first date. She was really disappointed. The O in this word also pronounced with a rounded lip, ghost. Glow up. This means a significant positive transformation in someone's life, referring to more of their appearance. Linking the two words with rounded lips, glow up. She had a major glow up after high school. Goals. This is to describe an aspiration or something you're impressed with, either a person or a thing. I love her hair, total hair goals. The difficulty here is L, so when you get to that L sound, put your tongue tip up to the roof, L, full contact with your palate. Goals. Goat. It's an acronym that stands for greatest of all time, referring to someone who's extremely accomplished. LeBron James is the goat. Gonna. This is short for going to. I'm gonna go to the store later. Notice the A at the end is pronounced as a quick uh, uh, rather than ah. Grind. This means to put a lot of effort or work towards something. She's been on the grind. She's been working her business so much. This I vowel is a diphthong. I grind. Hangry. It's a combination of angry and hungry together. It's describing that irritable feeling you get when you are hungry and you start to feel a bit angry. I haven't had dinner yet, I'm feeling a bit hangry. The Y at the end of this word is a full high tongue position, E. If you find your tongue is really low, eh, pull it up high, hangry. Hater. This refers to someone who is angry or upset at someone else's success. Don't listen to the haters, just focus on your goals. Similarly, you might hear haterade as just another way of saying jealousy. Don't be drinking the haterade. 
<laughs> I wouldn't use this, but it's out there. If you ever hear it, now you know what it means. <laughs> Every time I say it, it looks so silly. The T here is pronounced as a flat T. Sounds like a quick D, hater. Hella, meaning very or extremely. It's hella hot outside. The A at the end is pronounced as a schwa. Uh, 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 very quick, instead of a. Uh, uh, hype meaning anticipation or excitement. That's a big crowd of people. What's all the hype? The vowel is a diphthong, I, I, with a little E at the end of that diphthong. Kickback. This is like a casual get together, casual party. Let's have a kickback at my place next weekend. The I in this word is that low vowel, I, 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 I. rather than high, I, I. pull it lower, and that's the vowel we're looking for. Laid back, meaning relaxed or easygoing. He's a really laid back guy. Nothing ever bothers him. In laid, it is a diphthong, meaning two vowels, a, there's your tail. Laid, laid back. Lame, something that is boring or uncool. That movie was so lame, I fell asleep. The vowel is a diphthong, a, just as the others, so a quick transition. Lit, something to explain that something is cool, exciting, awesome. The place was lit, I've never seen anything like it before. The T is generally not released and it's going to be kind of held in your throat. Lit, that's a glottal T. Sorry to interrupt, but if any of these have been helpful or new information to you, click that little thumbs up mitten hand guy. Let me know that you liked this information. And in the comments below, I'm really curious, are there any other common slang words that you've heard that I have not mentioned here? I'm really curious to see if there are any I've missed. Let's get back to it. No way. Or that's really hard to believe. They're having twins? No way. Lurk. This means to browse someone's social media without actually interacting with the person. Don't spend your whole night lurking his Instagram. The U-R is pronounced as like an E-R pronunciation. Just er, curling your tongue for the R, making sure it doesn't touch the roof of your mouth. Er, low key. This means to do something discreetly or understated. I'm low key, excited about tonight. Mad means very or extremely. The food at that restaurant was mad delicious. The D is voiced here, so feel that vibration, mad. Mood, this is to express agreement or that something resonates. That meme is so relatable, mood. The D here is voiced, again, feeling vibration on that d -d -d. net. Short for internet. I can't find it anywhere on the net. The T is generally pronounced with a glottal stop, net, rather than released, t. Noob. This means someone who is inexperienced or new at something. I'm a gaming noob. The B is voiced here, so feel the vibration for the B. Old school. This refers to something that's older or traditionally done. See, these are a bit old school, but hey, they still work. The L's in both of these words are fully pronounced, so your tongue will touch the roof of your mouth. Old school. On point. This means something that's perfect, flawless, precise. His comments are always so on point. Peeps. Just refers to people or friends. I'm meeting up with my peeps later, we're gonna have some fun. Ride or die. This means someone who is completely loyal and completely committed. She's my ride or die friend. The or in this phrase is pronounced as a quick er rather than even pronouncing the o at all. Rider. Ride share just refers to a service like Uber or Lyft. Relating to transportation. Let's take a ride share to the airport. I don't wanna drive alone. Salty. This means bitter or angry. He got real salty when he lost the game. The T here is fully pronounced. Released, salty. Sauce, meaning style, charisma, or swagger. He's always dressed impeccably. He's got so much sauce. The AU is pronounced as ah, an open, rounded lip position. Ah, ah, ah. Savage. This refers to someone who's brutally honest, someone who's blunt, fearless, bold, impressive. 
Ooh, have you heard her roasting someone? She is savage. The A-G-E is pronounced uj rather than age. A really quick uh, selfie. A picture taken of yourself generally for social media purposes. I haven't taken a selfie in a long time. Should probably update my profile. The L in this word is difficult because it's followed by a consonant. Be sure to put your tongue tip right to the roof with full contact. Selfie. Ship. This is to express endorsing or being really for a relationship working out. I really hope they stay together. I ship them so hard. The I in this pronunciation is the lower tongue position. I, I, I. Shook. This means to be shocked, surprised, or even frightened. The news really shook us. The vowel is the upsilon sound with an open jaw and neutral lips in a protruded position. Uh. Sick to mean really cool or really impressive. His guitar skills are sick. Slay. To do something flawless and exceptionally well. She slayed that presentation. It was amazing. This is a diphthong, so two vowels. A. Snack. This is just another word to explain that someone is very attractive or good looking. I think my husband's a snack. <laughs> Snatched. If you're looking extremely fashionable and very good looking, that's the term. Where'd you get those shoes? Your outfit's snatched. The ED in this word is pronounced as a T. Shht. Shht. Rather than ed. Squad. It just means a group of close friends. I'm going out with my squad tonight. Similarly, you might hear squad goals. It refers to a group of friends that others aspire to be like. A stan. Now this is a fan, but someone who is excessively obsessed. So if you are obsessively obsessed with Taylor Swift, you might be a Taylor Swift stan. Sus. This is short for the word suspicious, and it just means that something is questionable. His behavior was a bit sus, didn't you think? The vowel is neutral, uh, uh, uh. Jaw is basically closed, lips are in neutral position as well. Swag refers to style or confidence. He's got so much swag. The G is voiced in this word, feel the vibration, g. TBT refers to throwback Thursday. It refers to mentioning old videos and old pictures from the past. Here's a TBT photo of us from last summer. T, gossip or juicy information. Come on, spill the tea, give me the gossip. A thirst trap. Now this is posting provocative pictures with the intention of attracting attention or compliments. Those photos, those are an obvious thirst trap. Since both words end and start with a T, we only say that sound once, thirst trap. Thirsty, meaning really, really desperate for attention or compliments. Someone seeking validation. And it's in a negative connotation. That was a thirsty move. Throw shade. This means to make a really indirect or subtle criticism or put down. It's an insult. She's always throwing shade at her coworkers. It's really bad news. The THR is a very difficult combination. So tongue out with blowing. Transition to an R. Thur. Throw. Tight, meaning close or intimate. We're a super tight group of friends. The T is generally stopped in the throat as a glottal T. Tight. Totes. It's short for totally, and it's just to express agreement. Do I want pizza tonight? Totes. Totes. <laughs> Twerk. It's a dance move involving getting down and your butt moving. It's a ballroom. You are very unlikely to see any twerking there. A user. This refers to someone who takes advantage of something or someone for their own personal gain. I think he's a bit of a user. Looks like he's trying to take advantage. Vibe check. This is kind of taking an analysis of the overall energy and feeling of the room or the group of people. Figuring out what the energy is and what the atmosphere is. All right, let's do a vibe check. How's everyone doing? Vibing. So just enjoying yourself, having a good time. Not nothing, we're just vibing tonight. The V in this word is voiced. V, v. Make sure you feel that vibration. V. Wanna. Short for want to. You wanna grab some food after? 
The A at the end is a schwa. It's a quick, uh, uh, natural, neutral vowel. Whack, meaning terrible, unimpressive. That movie was so whack, I couldn't even finish it. For the vowel, we are opening our jaw and we are also spreading our lips for more of an open ah vowel. It's like a smile, ah, instead of ah. Woke, being aggressively aware of social and justice situations. It can be associated with a positive progressive thinking, but also with a negative, overly politically correct awareness. She's a really woke activist. Y'all, it's a contracted form of you all. Where are you all? Where are y'all going? Where are y'all going tonight? For the final L sound, be sure to put your tongue up right to the roof oh, 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 and feel the tongue contact with your palate. YOLO, it's an acronym standing for you only live once. It's a phrase used to justify taking risks and living in the moment. Let's do it guys, let's go skydiving today. YOLO, don't, don't listen to the YOLO guy. Bail. This means to exit quickly. This often refers to getting out of here and you can bail a social situation, a party, or even an event or something you're watching. You're gonna give up on it. I'm feeling kind of tired. Do you mind if I bail? Watch for the L, making sure your tongue is contacting the roof. Bail. Cringe. It's that feeling of embarrassment that you might have on the behalf of someone else. Oh, that presentation was an entire hour of cringe. It was very embarrassing to watch. The final j sound is voiced. Think of it like a d, 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 and a j sound that's voiced. J, j, grub. The vowel in this word is neutral closed jaw. Uh, uh, uh. If you find your jaw open, you might pronounce a different vowel, so keep your jaw closed. Grub. Nail it. This means to accomplish something and be very successful with it. I have an interview tomorrow and I know I'm gonna nail it. The word nail has a diphthong vowel, two vowels, a, a. Be sure to add that little e, nail. Rager, referring to a really, really wild party. Eh, the party was okay. There was no rager, there was like five of us there. And this word has two R's in it which is kind of difficult for many people. So when you get to the er sounds, curl the tip of your tongue and feel how it's not really touching the roof. The tip of the tongue is curled and it will happen twice. Rager. Now that was an incredibly long list of very common American English slang words. And if you're like so many of the clients that I work with, if your goal is to speak English with clarity, with confidence and with ease, Check out the link below in the description. You'll find my website and you'll have access to my book, audiobook, video course, one-on-one -on -one coaching, and all the resources that maybe you've been looking for all this time. But if you wanna continue learning with me here, definitely subscribe to this channel because then you'll get access to all of the new videos that come out and the new information I share all the time. And if you're looking for more information just like what you've learned here, then go to this video because it has awesome, awesome information and lessons just for you. I'll see you there. Bye.